This is Eddie Grimm. You are rocking with the best. Yes, my people, how are you? It has been a long while. Kama kawaida, mimi naitwa Eddie Grimm, the rock DJ, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, Alpha Wolf Radio Rocks on YouTube where I do podcasts. I do some bomb ass podcasts uh, about the Kenyan rock scene right here on YouTube. And uh, it has been a while since I did an awesome podcast simply because I've been working on some really kick ass playlists for you guys. Um, Kama Hujui Alpha Wolf Radio is not just on YouTube, but it's also on Mixcloud. It's an it's an it's an online platform for rock. So Haiko to Haiko to YouTube Iko Pia Mixcloud and on Mixcloud you will find a lot of awesome playlists and mixes. Not just here on YouTube, but you can find Alpha of Radio on Mixcloud. I'll leave the link below. Ukienda pare kwenye Mixcloud utapata a lot of awesome playlists, playlists that you can just stream. And uh, I hope they make your day better. All right. So for today, as you can see, we are uh, <clears throat> tackling a very sensitive topic. <laughs> I'm saying sensitive because, you know, Mafi's flow usually listen to my podcast. So nikiongea vibaya. Oi, wata nikujia. But today I am doing a, a very, very, very honest, honest, very honest uh, review of their new album which is called Nataka Sitaki. It's their third album that came out this year. They were kind enough uh, to give me a copy and uh, they, were, they were kind enough to give me a, <clears throat> a review copy so that I and they told me they would like to know what I think so I decided you know what I'm gonna review the whole album from start to end and I am uh, I am I am going to be very honest. I am I am not going to hold back. <clears throat> I'm going to give you my honest raw. Yes, raw bila CD kind of raw <laughs> opinion about this album. But before I do that, I'm going to have to give uh, a shout out to two bands. First of all, I have to give a shout out to these youngsters from Refuge Band. They are going to have a show. On 6th of December, it's going to be at uh, Gypsy Bar. Yeah, Gypsy Bar, Ikopale Westlands. Uh, it's going to be with uh, DJ Tams. For those of you who know DJ Tams, is, he plays at Capitol. So it, it's going to be with DJ Tams and, Ma, and, uh, and Refuge. They're going to be playing on the 6th of December. There is the poster right there. And then I also have to give a shout out to the very amazing punk band, Right here from eh, the, the 254 by the name of Crystal Axis. Uh, they, um, they are dropping a, a, a new track. Eh? It's, it's lit. It's lit. I know this because they sent me an early access copy. Yes, eh, Okiwa Rock DJ Muzuri. Rock bands give you music. And uh, yes. So uh, yeah, they sent me uh, this copy of their new song. is called Nyayo House. That song is so bomb. It is so good. If you haven't listened to it, by now it must have chucked. By the time you're listening to this podcast, it's they're chucking the song on 25th of November. So 25th of November is a Monday. If you're listening to this and you still haven't, and, and, and it's 25th, you should definitely go check out Crystal Axis, Nyaya House. You will find the links on their Twitter. And uh, just listen to that song. It's awesome. When when they sent it to me, I listened to it like five times straight. I did not take off my headphones. That's how much I loved it. And 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 it sounds like um, I think when they sent me the description for the song, they told me it is Leopold Part Two. It actually has a Leopold vibe, but it's a very it's a very different track. Track, but it gives you a Leopold vibe. So come on, you Leopold in Nini now, eh? eh. Uh, Leopold, Leopold they are there. You know that huge song that everybody knows Crystal Axis for. So yeah, it sounds like a Leopold part two. Eh, as in Nyayo House is just wah. Wow. Um, if you haven't listened to it, definitely go listen to it. All right. Okay, let's drop down now to the topic of the day, which is a uh, Mafi's Floor. Their, 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 their new album in it on Ataka Sitaki. So let me just give you a short back, uh, a short, uh, a short uh, description of the band. 
Kenya and Murphy's Flow is a Kenyan band, but uh, the band is multicultural. And uh, so here in this picture right here, these are the members. And uh, on your left hand, Kabisa, the guy with the scarf is Mukasa. I hope I don't get anyone's name wrong. <laughs> if, I, if I get it wrong, please correct me in the comment section. But I believe top top left is Mukasa then in the middle is Rima who is a lead singer and then on the extreme right Apuju it's um his name is Mr. Nine or or Nine Nine yeah just Nine I think that's his stage name Nine and then um seated on the seated on the bottom right hand side is Jojo bottom bottom right hand side is Jojo she's the keyboardist and then in the middle is Vicky, who's their drummer. And then on the extreme left, Apo Ameketichini, you know, cross-legged uh, with the African leso is Josie. She plays bass for Murphy's Floor. I hope I got everyone's name right. Uh, if I did not, please correct me in the comment section, but I believe I've gotten it correct. So they have three albums. The first one was Makosa. The second one was Hello Light. Then there's the third one that has just come out. It's called Nataka Sitaki. So first of all, before I even dive into the, the track list and whatever, whatever, can we just appreciate, eh? Can we just appreciate the level of, eh, the level of presentation that Murphy's Flow, that Murphy's Flow, uh, you know, underwent. They, they, they took into into creating into creating the merchandise for their latest album it's it's mad there's like there's like everything there's it's like when you buy a physical copy of the album you get you can be able to get guitar picks you can be able to get a, a cg uh a, 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 like a retro tbt kind of cassette model you can be able to get uh, art you can be able to get jesus is lord you can be able to get um there's even a version that looks like a flash disc uh jeez man it's like they went you know all out in terms of presenting in terms of presenting their new album and i just found this to be so so cool that a band would go all out yani yani would go all out yani kuna ka fresh disc kuna eh kuna kuna cassette eh kuna artwork kuna guitar picks jehova yeah i mean where have you seen some i'm i'm sure there's even a t-shirt niliona niliona my friend Yvonne wearing a t-shirt for this for this album so it's like first of all 10 out of 10 uh, to you Murphy's flow for this amazing amazing presentation of your album i saw <clears throat> i saw i saw it on tv when you guys were being interviewed and wow it's uh hey it's 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 breathtaking it's it's really top notch presentation so kudos to you guys for this i mean uh, come on if you have not been told that it, it, it's awesome yeah, just take it from me that it's really i know you know it's awesome but i need you to hear that it is awesome yeah so uh let's now dive deep into just analyzing the album itself first of all the album has 11 songs so 10 are stu uh, studio rec uh, you know like studio recorded and then the 11th one is uh is i think live 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 vocals live vocals at beware studios that's that's what the name of the song says so it it track number 11 says live at beware studios and then um uh in in general i would say that the album has a very as in Murphy's flow i've always had a very unique unique sound because they know how to blend like alternative rock with um like like this unique kenyan sound so they just make it their own but but now with nataka sitaki what they did is it has um the album this is just my opinion of of how it was for me when i was listening uh the album moves moves like uh in, in, when i listen to different rock albums there's there's a momentum they always have so some albums always start soft 
then they become heavier as time goes by ama ama they start heavy then they become soft then they become heavy again so so the general feel of the album is <clears throat> the general feel of the album is that ukianza the al- the album tends to have a very up tempo kind of songs and then katikati inapungua then as it goes back up it um it it kicks back into gear and goes back up kidogo in tempo so for those of you who have never listened to Murphy's Flow Murphy's Flow is not a heavy band you don't have to be into hard rock or metal it's it's something that you you even your mom probably could listen to this without a problem uh there are 11 tracks so let me just list all of them uh, the first one is raindrops then viringo then uh what you want there is a video for what you want so if you go to youtube you will see a video for what you want and then number 4 is dare me number 5 is hurricanes number 6 is called hit the night number 7 is sunny days number 8 is uh chalea number 9 is still a beat number 10 is the right now number 11 is called your friend which is the one that i'm saying is live at beware studios i am going to give you my specific thoughts on each song and tell you which ones i like which ones were not uh, which ones were not <clears throat> spanking for me and uh, which ones really hit for me i mean it's just my personal opinion it's subjective you could listen to the whole album and enjoy it you could listen to the whole album and find it meh you could listen to the whole album and find it disappointing depends with you as in kila mtu ako na opinion yake sasa so first of all uh the recording quality is amazing uh, i i know f- i know for a long while when people talk about kenyan rock they always like uh, the, the songs need to be recorded much but the quality isn't that good trust me this this album is really well recorded so let's start with the first song uh, the first song is called raindrops scream my name um this is actually the first three songs in this album are my favorite so raindrops scream my name is 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 really good it's uh it the intro is is really really <clears throat> slow and creeping in because it's keyboard being played and then it's kind of slow in the beginning and then at some point it picks up and it has this like funky riff in between like ding 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 like i have really listened to this album paka i can sing riffs so that's how much i enjoyed it personally So raindrops in brackets scream my name this song um when i listen to the lyrics ah kusema ukweli sitakudanganya um this this song uh, um is a uh, is a uh, maybe, maybe maybe it's just me you no know, maybe i'm perverted or something but this song is about you know getting it on <laughs> This song is about getting laid. I swear to God, it must be about getting laid. I mean, if you listen to the lyrics, no, no, go go listen to the album. I will leave the link below. You can go listen to that. So you can listen to this album for free on on Bandcamp. And eh? excuse me, Ngoma. This the song must be talking about getting laid. I mean, I mean, it must be talking about a couple getting laid. I mean, the 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 lyrics are like at um at the raindrops Uh, I call her my raindrops. Uh she's my raindrops in the desert when I am in pain something like that. You see kuongea kuhusu dry spell kusema kweli. And then <laughs> and then there's a part where the lyrics goes like at last night uh I stole her defenses. Yeah. And then there's a part where uko mushi goes like and I want you to scream. Yeah, I want you to scream my name. I mean <clears throat> to say too quickly i mean come on it, it can't be me peke yangu it i mean come on if you listen to those lyrics i mean come on you must get very nasty you know some really <coughs> sexy thoughts in your head but i really like <laughs> i really like that song uh no no matter what meaning i mean you go listen to it i mean that was the meaning of like yeah this song is talking about you know <coughs> you know um so yeah i'm 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 a capable to some extent but i'm i'm an honest pavo to some extent so um <clears throat> number 2 is mviringo so mviringo is also another amazing track now this is a let me just say a small disclaimer that i have heard some of these songs live 
Yeah, so when I had them on the album, I already it's like I already I was already programmed to like them because I had already had them live. Like Mviringo, for example, I've had it before live. I th- there's a time Mafi's Floor performed in Karen in 2018, I think, uh, in Feb, and they performed this song. Yeah, and um, well, uh, what can I say? The, the, the way th- now now Mviringo, the, the Mviringo is a very unique track in that when I listen to it, it's like a story is being told. Yeah. Um, I don't remember the lyrics Vizuri, but but the way it's told, it's like it's like a poem. It's being told like a poem because it's like Juma Mosi, da 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 da, Juma Pili, da 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 da, na na na. It's it's the way it's being told. That the lyrics are like are like are like lines in a poem, and it's it's being told in a very cryptic way. Until now, I cannot tell you what this song is about. <laughs> Because I've re-listened to it over and over again. <laughs> Only Mafia's flock can tell me what this song means. Because the way it's sung, it's like the lines are incomplete. Not not incomplete like like they stopped writing the song halfway, incomplete in like it's done it's done in a very artistic way. Where it makes you really guess what they're trying to say. And and then the second thing is this specific song, Mbiringo. They, the, 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 is it the chorus? Yeah, the chorus. It sung like a group of people are singing together. It's the only track where it's like people are singing together. So it's it's like it's like it goes like Tosongambele, Tosongambele. Yeah, and when it, that part is said, it's a group of people who are saying that. It's not just the lead singer who's saying that alone. I wonder how that was recorded though. I wonder if they had like a group of people in the studio together, but it's it's very well done. It's um, it's a very cryptic track. I, I find it very. I mean, that's what I like about, you know, um, when music is well done, it makes you you know guess the meaning of the lyrics over and over again. If I was to guess what Mberingo is about, <laughs> if I was to guess, I'm probably wrong. But if I was to guess, I would say, I would think it's about um. It's about um, uh, workers who are striking and they keep being promised a pay rise. And then uh, when Friday reaches for their pay rise to come, it never actually shows up. And uh, and uh, and uh, that's why in the lyrics there's a part where they say, Atitwa songambele, atikumbe ni mviringo kila ijuma. So it's like every time we think we're going to move forward, we keep being taken round in circles. That's just my assumption. I am probably wrong, so k- kindly, uh, dear Mafia's Floor members, please tell me the meaning of this song. I have tried guessing and I cannot. I'm going to skip number three. <laughs> what you want, I'm going to skip what you want because what you want is my favorite track of this album. I want to give a full description. I want to give a full analysis of that song because I just love that song. Uh, now, Dare Me and Hurricanes for me were now where the album takes a dip in terms of tempo now taking a dip isn't exactly bad those two songs have have i listened see they're back to back so they they when i listened to, to them they gave me like this jazz blues rock vibe and they're very nice tracks i i don't know whether it's dare me i'm a hurricanes i think it's dare me in dare me you hear rima's vocals very well and then in hurricanes Hurricanes is weird because when I listen to Hurricanes, it doesn't sound like it's Rima singing. It sounds like it's someone else singing. It sounds like, it sounds like it's it's. It sounds like it's Vicky who's singing. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there's a problem with my ears, but it doesn't sound like it's Rima who's singing. It sounds like it's Vicky who's singing in Hurricanes. Um, maybe maybe Maski Aguiri and Bika Sijui Labda. I don't know. Whatever. So. Track six and uh, track nine. Uh, so track six is hit the night. Track nine is still a beat. There's a video for still still a beat on YouTube. So those two tracks have a very party kind of vibe. Hit the night. Uh, hit the night and still a beat. They have a very the, the way they are played. Um, the, the, the way this the, the way this song is played. It has a very funky kind of party, high brave kind of something that you'd play in the club, and you know people would get up and dance to. 
and then sunny days which is so it's written as sunny days s-u-n-n-y-d-a-z-e -E. so sunny days sunny days is the only song in this album where they actually mention the words nataka sitaki and so uh when Murphy's Law was being interviewed on tv they said that the reason why the album is called nataka sitaki is simply because um this is how I remember it. I don't know if I'm correct, but this is a paraphrasing of what I heard them saying. They said, uh, I think this was Mukasa who was saying this. He was saying that sometimes the process of making music is very indulging. It can be very emotional training. So you want the music, Raitaka, you want the music to come out and come out well. But sometimes the process is so strenuous. Huitaki because of how you know torture some entire summit can be so it's like nataka like in sitaki yeah and even even in the even in the album art you can see it's nataka is at the top corner and then it's like Murphy's floor caught in between the you know you can see that you can see their 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 name is in between on the album cover and it's like they are lost in the mayhem of 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 how messy it is when you're making music and trying to compile an album and then sitaki is at the other corner so it's it's like a push and pull between wanting to do it and not wanting to do it so in sunny days this track number seven they also you know they, they, it's it's also um it's also a relationship kind of song it has like a relationship kind of theme where they say I don't want to lose control and um, I don't want to lose control Nataka Sitaki yeah so uh, I, I, I don't know how to explain this it's like the see it's like when the song is being sung the lyrics are trying to explain like when the person is in a relationship they tend to lose emotional control so they want the relationship but they don't want it because they don't want to lose control that was my analysis of that song I don't know I may be right I may be wrong but that's what I had. Uh -huh. Number eight is a very unique track called Chale A. So Chale A. Chale A. <laughs> Chale A is, um, has an Indian vibe to it. Uh, you can hear, um, you can hear like Indian like lyrics in it, like Bollywood kind of singing. So I'm assuming <coughs> Rima. <coughs> Rima, if you listen to this, hi, you're a great vocalist, hi. So I'm assuming you're the one who wrote this or told, uh, you know, the band Lazima Ingoma Yandikwe. It's a very unique touch to the album. It's, it stands out very well, and I think it's a very nice addition to the album. And then uh, we have the two last songs at the bottom, which are The Right Now and Your Friend. So The Right Now was the very first song I heard of this album because the video, it's the very first, uh, you know, how do I say this? Yes, I had the songs uh, live during other concerts, but the right now is the first song I had when the album was just about Chuck. So there's a video, and it's also it also has a relationship theme to it about um, about uh, commitment. Yeah, see the lyrics. The lyrics usually say, "As long as we commit to the right now." Yeah, so it's about seeing things through even when things get tough. And I I, I think I think that's what it means. And then uh, your friend, eh, okay, so you see, you see there, you see the album starts up, then comes down, then goes up. In your friend, Rima's vocals are so good. She hits such high highs. It's like, you know, like, ah, and it goes up, 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 and she does it so well. So that was, I, I didn't even listen even to the message in that song. I was just listening to the vocals. The vocals come out so well. In, in Dear Me and Your Friend, the vocals come out so, so well. And uh, that's it. That's generally my analysis and review of this album. I would give it, I would give this album an 8 out of 10. An 8 out of 10. Um, I I am a bit biased because, you know, I, I'm a huge fan of Murphy's Floor. I think Murphy's Floor are an amazing band. They, they've personalized their sound very well. Plus, they have, they have this thing. I like bands that tell stories through... Through, through songs. I've never listened to another Murphy's Flow album from start to end. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Like any, <clears throat> I always like saying like the most perfect Murphy's Flow song. The most perfect Murphy's Flow song. Perfect. 10 out of 10. In Silence. There's a song called In Silence. There's even a video for it. Just search Murphy's Flow. And by the way, Murphy's Flow is M-U-R-F-Y. So you are wrong it is m-u-r-f-y 
ya apostrophe s and then flow f f f l a w c sakafu flow ya yeah so yes i would highly advise that you check the link below if you have not yet you can click on the link below and it will be taken straight to their band camp and you can listen to this album for free there you can buy it i don't know how much it is because mimi nilipewa kopia kopia bure but <laughs> i'm assuming it's what maybe 5 600 700 right? the digital version i don't know about the physical one but i maybe the digital version could be 700 i don't know i haven't checked kusamukolia but if you don't feel like buying it it's okay you can still click on the link and listen online and sample all of these songs that i am talking about otherwise um i really enjoyed i really enjoyed listening to this album especially raindrops and viringo and what you want what you want what you want that track jesus almighty that track is so good yeah from from beginning to end the way the song starts the way <clears throat> so 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 ma, so my first has two vocalists so it ha, it has Rima who sings lead and then it has uh, Mr. Nine or just Nine let me call him Nine Nine who does um he calls sings with 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 Rima and uh in 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 what you in what you want it has a video the video is awesome but but the, just just listening to the track breaking it down the track itself is so well executed is so well executed it's so well executed i would i would say it's the second <laughs> it's the second perfect um mafis flow song for me it's so well executed in terms of they know how to change between english lyrics with Kiswahili lyrics and then you have Rima singing then you have Nine singing and they change in between and uh, I really like the part where they say um I've given you all my love my whatever my whatever what more do you want from me and then there's a part where um Rima says uh, there's a part where she says ole wangu ole wangu and Just the lyrics are so good they are so so good you can check out the video for free on youtube just search mafis flow mafis flow um what you want it's it's an amazing track this track this this specific track hit me so well in this entire album all right and that is my review of this third album by mafis flow if you ever hear mafis flow playing live anywhere Tafadhali go see them live they are so good I, i believe they won an award for best live act so yes 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 thank you so much for listening um i'm sure there's a member of mafis flow who listened to this uh, i would really want to know what you think of my review um i have never done an album review before for a kenyan artist so uh i i i I I've never done it before so me I just me was just giving my honest feedback and reaction to the album and uh, what I think about it from 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 every element from the sound the general sound to each track to the themes to the messages and just you know even the presentation of the album so so my people thank you so much for listening to this podcast i have more awesome podcasts on the way cuz shida yangu ni i don't know how to balance between alpha on mixcloud and alpha on youtube inakuwa kazi nyingi sana but I'm, i'm going to check more podcasts that you can listen to and get more information because there's so much to discuss in terms of Kenyan rock all right thank you so much for listening till next time god bless